In the spirit of champagne, we have apple soda. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you have some, please? Hey, cheers! Sit back. Yeah, I'm Gabby. I'm Megan. I'm John. And today we're going to be talking about birthday. When is my birthday? When is ask? your birthday? birthday? On the 8th of January. So by the time this comes out, yes, I will be 22 years old. So I am actually a Capricorn baby. Born on the, on the 16th of January. Yeah, so I'm a very stable person. <laughs> my birthday is 28th October. I'm a Scorpio. That explains so much. Toxic? <laughs> I don't know. I don't read social exams. I mean, okay, looking back at our old videos, and if you look back at Megan's behavior, <laughs> it makes sense. Sit back. Okay, so how do you normally celebrate your birthday? Is it a big deal? Is it not? What do you do? Oh, sorry, start first. Huh? Okay. So essentially for me, I'm not a big fan of celebrating my own birthday. So when my parents ask me, oh, how do you want to celebrate your birthday? And I just tell them, Buy me like four boxes of pizza and we're good to go. <laughs> but they're always like, no, you've got to do something special. Like bring you out for dinner, go something nice and have like a family bonding or something like that because it's a celebration of life. And I'm like, yeah, and that life is running out very fast. How about you, Megan? <laughs> so as you get, as I get older, last time it used to be a very like, oh, it's my birthday. Everybody wish me it's my birthday week, birthday month. But then as I got older, I didn't really care. And in fact, when I turned 18 last year, Ooh, I woke up legal, at legal. Yeah, <laughs> legal in Singapore. It's like a big deal to turn 18 yeah. Eh. Yeah. And I like didn't care about my birthday really. So when I woke up at like 10 a.m., I the first thing I did was post on my Instagram story. I said I was legit in bed and I just said, okay, but let's be real here. I'm just one year closer to death, aren't I? And let me tell you, birthday wishes, I think they are real because the next day I got hit by a car and I almost died. It, okay? If birthday wishes really do come true, I'm like, jackpot, jackpot, I really should... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I've got better things to do. Yeah. Do you really? Yes, I do. I am stressed 24-7. Anyways, Gabby, how do you celebrate your birthday being the oldest and the wisest amongst all of us? Uh, let's take a ring check on wisest. Um, I, like, normally birthdays, like, if it's not on a school day, um, my family has this, has this thing of, like, Every year at 4 p.m., we cut the cake and like blow out candles and give presents and all that. But last year, my birthday was on a school day, so we didn't do that. We ended up doing it on the weekend. And the birthday itself, eventful as it was, and I'm, I can't say details on camera, but <laughs> it was a good birthday. It was a good as birthday. long as she had Last time. year, <laughs> last year, my 21st birthday was fun. Sit back. What would be your ideal birthday celebration? <laughs> I just mentioned my ideal birthday celebration is just getting into a relationship. No, no, no. <laughs> you said that. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. want. Like, okay, for me, I feel that when it comes to my birthday, I just really want, as of now, like today, I just want a nice, relaxing day for myself. Probably, uh, probably just like good food, company by myself. Nice. <laughs> Megan, considering he's, your last birthday. <laughs> oh, my birthday. What? But I don't know that I'm quite okay with how I spend it, which is like every it's like just dinner with family, and then on the actual day I go out with my friends, law. But then I I would say this year, because this year is like more special to my family. Like they they were like. That may have been the last birthday we could have spent with Megan, you know? That may have been Megan's last birthday. So this year, right, they were like, okay, October right, is birthday month. It's not birthday, oh. it's month. Then they legit, my, own, my birthday, right, the week, oh, we every day eat birthday a cake. We eat cake every oh. single day. Eh. As nice as that sounds, that sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Very diabetic. <laughs> but it's okay, I guess. It doesn't count. Yeah. Anyways, then. 28 was my birthday, right? So we had birthday cake. Then the next day, the next day was kind of special because I took a gap year and then now I'm in a new class. And these two are in my new class, but they kind of surprised me about cake. Everyone in my class so far is very nice. My teacher checks out on me, I'm like, they're all very nice, okay. Aww. So that was very special to me. And then 
that is what my parents call my rebirth day. Because my, oh. my accident was on 29th, so it's rebirth day. 30th, my family also got me a cake because it's for the rebirth. So there were a lot of cakes. My ideal birthday, okay, what I want, right, more than anything, is to be alone. I want, like, a staycation, like, for myself, just in a nice hotel, fully paid for. Just, like, y'all give me the staycation of, like, maybe three days, two nights. Leave me alone. Sit back. Clearly, we've all gone through, like, our milestone birthdays, right? Mm. Do y'all have, like, goals or plans that y'all set? Like, oh my, before my 20th birthday, I want to do this. Before my 18th birthday, I want to do that. Do y'all have, like, any goals or anything like that that y'all set before your birthday? Mine is more of, like, cause I have the habit of saving money. So like, I don't. For example, if I turn, if for example each year right, I want to accumulate at least like a thousand more. For example, I'm eighteen. I want eighteen thousand. Yeah. That kind. So that's for me. How do you that's start kind getting one k at like the first year or so? <laughs> that one is like like I don't know, but I just have my mom saves my money. For example, every Chinese New Year, she'll take and she'll she started a bank for me and my brother. I so see. thanks, my mom. We started. We had we had since young so, Okay, so let's say that you will trying to save up money, right, at like 9 years old. Uh, now, let's say, that, now that you're 18, right? I'm 19. 19. Uh, okay, 19, sorry. Now that you're 19, right, how did you, did you really push to get more money in order to get the 19k? Oh. No, oh. I'm just hardworking. Oh, okay. I like work part-time jobs. Oh, so, 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 I just make myself. So I just reached 19, basically. Like 19 But the thing is, not yet. Because right. when I almost died, I was like, I was like, you know what? If I die, where will my money go? So I spent Government. it. I spent, I spent On a, what? I spent like like PC, like I play game. I see, I'm I a see. gamer girl now. Follow me on Twitch. Follow her on Twitch. <laughs> what are you doing? You I'm just push. Do I go? Okay. So for me, my goals, right? It's very interesting because my goals are not necessarily my goals, but my parents. No, not necessarily my parents. But it's like so, sort of the family. It's sort of the structure that's been embedded in me. So there's this thing uh, where by 20 years old, you're supposed to finish uni, 20, 22, 23, you're supposed to have a stable job, 25, get married. Because my mom got married around like 20, 21, 21 ish. Yeah. So to me, apparent, and my cousins, my cousins are like getting married like around. Now, so around 21 as well, 22, and to me, I feel that I'm supposed to do that. Mm. But I feel that uh, we all take uh, our own lives and we have our own pets. So my goal is not by year, but by feeling. So all, 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 all I have in mind is that by 30, I just want to be able to be financially stable and satisfied with my state of living because that's when I feel personally comfortable to be going out. Like this is my own personal opinion but I feel like I've, read, I've led a very sheltered life. Mm. So like if you were to throw me out into the real world, right, I don't think I would have the skills to survive. So I want to slowly acquire the skills that I need by the time I'm like 30. And like, I mean, cause now I'm in poly, right? So like I can learn things through experience. I learn how to communicate with people. I learn how to do this and do that. And then like, by the time I reach a certain age, I, I, I'll be able to take care of myself. So that's what I essentially want to do. Yes, Meg. I agree. Okay, y'all two want independence, right? You know, I told my mom, I told her, if there's room for me in your tomb, there's room... <laughs> eh, if you, there's room for me in your womb, there's room for me in your tomb. There's room for me in your womb, there's room for me in your tomb. So when you're very mom, mom, momless girl, is it? Mm. Your mommy's girl. Not really. I just don't. I just. I just. I just. I just want her to take care of me. Oh. Sit back. So what are your views on getting older? Well, I think I used to be like, cause I used I, I think Singapore thing is like, it's like by a certain age you finish secondary school. So I I used to follow the very mainstream, the most normal. Like express, then straight away go into poly or JC, then after that straight away go where, 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 right? But because of the gap year thing, I think now on getting older, right, I don't really look so far ahead. Eh. I just, if I know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, that's very good already. I don't even think until next year, let alone like. What you gonna eat for dinner, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. So honestly, getting older to me is just like, like you'll never know when you're gonna die. 
it's just kind of funny because right when you're younger there's like a lot of like oh i want to be this i want to be that and as you grow older it's just like you know that enthusiasm that vigor in your eyes and your soul just suddenly like slowly dies down yeah, yeah and it's just like oh, wow that's a very fun way of looking at age can i just say i was a very woke kid i was. when people yeah i was let me let me say you know like they ask you what you want to be when you grow up you know i wrote like you think it's occupation teacher doctor what right you know i wrote i wrote be happy that's not woke that is sad. Oh, maybe crazy maybe i was a depressed kid do you all see my instagram story okay let's talk about that later i think for me right i think because i would i would eventually succumb to depression i think it would affect like how i view getting older because I, especially with the day of social media and all that, right? You see people your age, like, getting jobs, getting... I have two friends who are married. Oh. Oh, yeah. At this age. And then, like, you're like, oh, wow, that's, that's cool, you know? Like, you're sitting there like, I should be, like, you know, along this life path as well. Why am I not, like, following, like, the goal? And, like, it's, it's, like, it's, it's a different path for everyone. That's true, but, like... If you like for me personally, I feel like if I'm not following a set timeline, I, I'm on the wrong path and I'm doing I'm feel like I'm doing something wrong, you know? So if I, I feel like as I get older and if I don't accomplish like the goals I have set for myself, I would eventually re- not regret but like feel I would not look forward to get getting older. Basically, okay. yeah. All plan all depends on if I hit my goals or not. Yeah. Do you think you would place uh, more importance on your birthday as you age? I don't really see it as a hallmark or, or like as a flag post mm. as to how I progress to, through life. It's more of like, I don't know, I feel like I should put a bit more emphasis on it but I just frankly couldn't care. Because the way I look at the way I live my life is really true how I'm progressing and whether or not I am satisfied with the way that I'm progressing. That's my indication of how I'm going through life, not necessarily in terms of age. Because honestly, I really, really feel that, for me personally, I really, really feel that age is just a number. And I try to live by it. But as much as I possible, I go, I go by it. Uh, I think because I'm the younger sibling, I don't really put much emphasis on my age because I will never be older than my brother. So, since I'm 19 now, I think the next age I'm looking forward to maybe is my brother's age right now, which is 21. That's it. I think maybe for me, I would most look forward to turning like 30, 35 because I feel like that would be when I think life truly starts. Because people say like, you find yourself when you're 20, but I don't think that's true. Because like when you're a teenager, you go through learning about yourself, your world, you and like you succumb to a lot of trauma like either with, caused by one way or another you have some form of trauma like built in you so when you're in your 20s I, I, to me I find that as like the healing stage you take your 20s to rediscover who you are to find out your interests who you are as a person and then uh, like you hone your skills your niche I'm not saying your 20s is your, ri- your rise and grind type of years but it's like Take that time to be yourself. And then once you're 30, 35, you go out into the world, be who you are, and celebrate life. Enjoy life. Very so, yeah. nicely said. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that time. Sit back. Yeah, I guess that's about it. You know, we like our birthdays one way or another. Thank you for watching. Sit, Sit back. back. Like and subscribe. Follow us on our Instagram at Official News Room. And our own personal Instagram. Kazing. Kazing. Sorry, our mic died. <laughs> Our mine. <laughs> yeah. It's my day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>